They're mad because they don't want voter ID. That's the part of the law they hate. They don't want basic protections for our election system to ensure that votes are protected and that they're only cast by people who are who they say they are and who have a legal right to vote. That's what they don't want. But the only way they know how to fight against something is to do what they always do, pull out the race card, accuse the right of hating black folks, and lie. Meanwhile, Congress is trying to shove through the For the People Act to protect voters that would ban voter ID laws, legalize ballot harvesting, force taxpayers to fund political campaigns, even for candidates they don't support, and restrict states from purging their voter rolls of dead people and people who've moved out of state. Because that makes sense. See, all of that sucks. Most Americans don't support it because it is so obviously stupid. 75% of Americans, including 69% of black Americans, support voter ID laws. The left knows this, and they have no good argument against it. So instead, they start screaming racism like a broken record. But liberals are keeping Americans from having any faith and trust in their election system by blocking any common sense efforts to protect it and leaving loopholes that can be easily exploited, which is the whole point. Thank you very much, Mr. President. I want to go back to voting rights. And as Yamish mentioned, Republican legislatures across the country are working to pass bills that would restrict voting, particularly Democrats fear impacting minority voters and young voters, the very people who helped to get you elected in November. Are you worried that if you don't manage to pass voting rights legislation, that your party is going to lose seats and possibly lose control of the House and the Senate in 2022. What I'm worried about is how un-American this whole initiative is. It's sick. It's sick. Deciding in some states that you cannot bring water to people standing in line waiting to vote. Deciding that you're going to end voting at 5 o'clock when working people are just getting off work, deciding that there will be no absentee ballots under the most rigid circumstances. It's all designed, and I'm going to spend my time doing three things. One, trying to figure out how to pass the legislation passed by the House, number one. Number two, educating the American public, the Republican voters I know, find this despicable. Republican voters, the folks out in the — outside this White House. I'm not talking about the, le the elected officials. I'm talking about voters. Voters. And so I'm convinced that we'll be able to stop this because it is the most pernicious thing. This makes Jim Crow look like Jim Eagle. Yes, I'm not going to